Hey Prime Tree Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. So, today we are on to a new level for fractions, but before that, let us look at yesterday's questions. Yesterday's question was, what is the sum of one quarter and one six? So, did you get the answer? The answer is four over, oops, is it four over twelve? No, it's five over twelve. If you got it right, high five you! are a math priority. Good job. Now, how do we get this answer? It is very simple. Now, level 3 fractions. First off, you gotta write what is the sum. So, 1 quarter plus. Correct? Sum is plus. plus. And you put 1 over 6 next to it. Now, what you need to do next is something we call the magic trick. The magic trick is something called multiply. Now, that you have 4 and you have 6. Now, what do you do? Remember, you have to find the lowest common multiple or the lowest common denominator which is below here. And all you have to do is just times it by 1, by 2, by 3, by 4, for example, and then so on and so forth. And here you have 6, and here times 2 you have 12, times 3 you have 18, and so on and so forth. So what is the lowest common multiple? It's actually 12. Can you see that? Now, how do we make this below here look like 12? We just multiply it by what? Correct, by 2. And you multiply it on top by 2 as well. And here, how do you get make it look like 12? Here, you times 3. And you times 3, you must be fair to the ones above as well. So you times 3 on top. And hence, you will get 3 over 12 plus five, uh, 2 over 12. 3 plus 2 gives you 5. And since the 12 just remains below, we keep the thing below. And hence, the answer is 5 over 12. If you got it right, high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. <laughs> now, we move on to level 4. Whew. Level 4 fractions. Level 4 fractions is, the question is, what is the product of half and one quarter? Now, before, let, before I show you this, I want to show you how to multiply fractions, okay? So, let is, let's say the product of half and half, for example, okay? So, what do you do now? Now, in multiplication, fractions are a little different, okay? What you must do is, you must multiply this by this. So the ones on top multiply together. 1 times 1 gives you 1. And below, together, to the other one below. The denominators to the denominators. And so 2 times 2 gives you 4. Good job. High five. You are a math prodigy. Awesome. Okay, now next one. Let's say I give you level 2 fractions. Um, Let's say we give 2 over 3 times, let's say, 4 over, hmm, let's say, 6, for example. Okay, so two, time, 2 over 3 times 4 over 6. Do you need to multiply this? No, you don't need to because this is what it looks like, okay? It's 2 times 4, so read it this way. Let me show you this with a different marker pen, different color pen. 2 times 4 equals to 8, correct? So I'm going to write this down. 2 times 4 over 3 times 6. 3 times 6. So three, 2 times 4 equals what? 2 times 4 equals to 8. Good job. And 3 times 6 equals to? 18 and that is the answer get it now now let me show you a little trick that you can actually do let's say it's 3 over 6 times 1 over 3 now I don't want you to think about it so much but I'm just gonna show you a little trick whenever the numbers in these two areas are the same or are multiples you can actually cancel it off you cancel 3 you cancel 3 you get 1 and 1 so 1 times 1 gives you 1 6 times 1 gives you 6. So let's check our answer. Let's say we just kept it at 3 over 6 and we don't do any cancellations. So we take 3 times 1, you get 3. And 6 times 3, you get 18. 3 over 18. Now, how does it become, how does it look, how, be, how does it turn into something that looks a bit like this? Because you must always reduce this to the lowest thing, to the lowest number, so it's simplest form. So you must divide this by 3 and divide this by 3. Because these are multiples, you see. So 3 divided by 3 gives you 1. 18 divided by 3 gives you 6. And that is the answer. The same answer here and the same answer here. Got it? Alright, let's not confuse you so much. I'm going to ask you how to do the question for the day. Oops, my phone is ringing, but it's okay. Um, the question is, what is the product of 1 over 2 and 1 over 4? It's very simple, alright? So I'm going to leave you this uh, this question for the last day of this week. And I know you're going to do it and you're going to get it right. With that high five, this is Coach Saiful. Oh, remember, before that, slow and steady wins the race. Be cool, 
be slow, be steady, and win that race. So this is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.